RSI can be the most useful indicator if you know how to use it. In this video I will show you how you can use it and I will show a very easy to follow high risk to reward RSI divergence strategy. First of all we need to get the RSI. If you type RSI in the indicator section you will get the relative strength index. This is what we need. You can see some levels here 70, 50 and 30. If the price is above 70 it shows that it is overbought. If the price is below 30 it shows that it is oversold and the 50 level is used by some people to buy if the price is above 50 and if the price is below 50 they just looking for sales but I don't recommend this method at all and the 70 and 30 level not the best either so I don't recommend using either of them you can turn them off you can see that we are using the RSI 14 we have to look for divergence on the RSI what is a divergence here we can see that there are lower lows in the price but on the RSI we don't see another lower low we see only a high and this is a divergence in the uptrend if the price is forming higher highs but we don't see another higher high on the RSI we have a divergence also. For now we will only talk about regular divergences. So basically divergence can show a weakening of the trend. Now I will show you a very simple RSI divergence strategy. In addition to the divergence we will need two confirmations a double top or a double bottom and a candle confirmation also. What we can see here we can see a double bottom we can see a divergence here again we can see another divergence this is an exaggerated divergence when the price does not form a lower low it forms a double bottom but we can see a high on the rsi and we can also see a tweezer bottom candle conformation this is total of four conformations so we can enter the trade with complete confidence the stop loss should be a little bit below the candle and for the take profit we can look at the next relevant resistance level which is around here. There is a resistance level a little bit below but we can see many more touches here. So we can put the take profit up here and just like that we can get a 15.1 risk to reward trade which is a very good risk to reward ratio and we can be very very happy with that. Obviously it's not always going to be that high risk to reward ratio but we had four confirmations here. We saw a divergence, a double bottom, an exaggerated divergence and a teaser bottom candle. Actually with this strategy we are trading double tops and double bottoms but we are adding the RSI as a very strong confirmation for a much much better win rate. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful for you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can help you with new videos every other day. See you guys later.